Yo book nerds, I have finished reading Class Act by Jerry Craft, which is a companion graphic novel to New Kid. If you haven't checked out my review for New Kid, go check that out. This is a book that I am reading for a summer class that I'm taking. I'm reading this in advance of that class. Go check out my last school update if you want more information on why that is. But yeah, I enjoyed this book. It is a graphic novel. I can see why we're reading this book for class, although I still think that the first book, New Kid, would have also been just as good to read for class. Um, so I guess we'll see once I get to that class what the actual reasoning was for skipping the first book. But I'm glad that I read it because it made me understand this book a lot more. So this is a continuation and we're still following Jordan, except in this book, we do focus more on Jordan's friend, Drew. And Drew is kind of going through a rough spot. He's really struggling with his place in the world and we follow him on his journey with that. This is Drew. And Drew is really struggling with his identity and with his friends. So um, he lives with his grandmother and they don't have a lot of money and she works all the time. But Drew is on a scholarship going to this really rich school that Jordan goes to. And Drew is really struggling with the fact that there are other people at this school that are so, so rich. Specifically, he's struggling with his friend Liam whose parents are loaded and his mom doesn't have to work and he's got a pool in his house and he's got every video game under the sun and everything that he could ever want, he has pretty much. And so Drew is really struggling with that and it affects his friendship with Liam. And so it's very interesting, all these dynamics. And Drew has to do a lot of like soul searching and self-discovery and has to figure out how to reconcile these things. But overall, it was a very enjoyable read. And the themes from the first book are definitely continued in here. So there's a lot of talk about privilege and racism and microaggressions. And um, so those are all continued from the first book into this book. I did like the first book better than this one, but I didn't dislike this book by any means. This is only the second graphic novel I've ever read. New Kid was the first. So I think I'm just not really getting into the medium. I'm just so used to novels. And so while I love it and I think the artwork is great and so much fun, um, I just, it's, it's just so different from what I'm used to. It's harder for me to just sink into the story, but I'm definitely glad that I'm reading it. Um, and I highly recommend it for anyone that has young children, because this is middle grade, I think that young children will get a lot out of it because it does tackle huge topics in an easy way for your children to understand. I do think it's a good idea for anyone that's gonna be a teacher to read this. I said that for the first one as well. It makes me more aware of the kind of teacher that I want to be and the kind of teacher I don't want to be. But overall, I think anyone should just give this book a try. It, the whole series is very well written, very well written. I'm just not used to the medium, and I think that's what's taking me out of it. There is a line that I will share that I really loved in here. Um, so this girl, Alex, is talking to Drew, and he's telling her about everything that he's struggling with. And Alex is very unique. She is not afraid to be herself. She is quote unquote the weird girl, but she's happy being the weird girl. And Drew asks her how she does it, how she handles being judged by everyone all the time. But Alex says in response, But to answer your question, I like being me. What good is having people like you if you don't like you? And I think that sums up the book pretty much. Drew is really trying to figure out who he is and where his place in the world is. And I just love that quote and I think that that is such a powerful statement. I'm sorry if you can hear my baby grunting in the background. She's here again with me. But I just think that's such a powerful statement and something that I want my children to know and something I want all children to know is that you should like yourself and not worry so much about what other people think. If you like yourself and are true to yourself, the right people will find you and you will have good friends. So yeah, another theme for this book is definitely like self-discovery and self-acceptance. 
and it's very powerful. If you've read this book, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear. That's it for me this week. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for talking books with me.